Hi guys, I'm Kev from SonsOfCane.com. We're going to go back to another old video, which is the reverse javelin. As usual, the man in the chair, Chris. Hello, man in the mobile chair, Kevin. As promised, we said that we would do this. We're going to do the javelin stuff, but I'm going to be wearing body armour so you can see the effect, train for a bit more oomph, and you can see what happens when you do it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to share, and don't forget, Kev's lonely. When you see our previous video on the reverse javelin, if you haven't, the link is up there. And as you know, I'm constantly beating Dan, so it's time for payback. You may have noticed I'm wearing this. I don't wear this normally. I can pull it off outside, unfortunately not many people can, but just to show a bit of body armour, Dan's just going to give me a whack to show you how, a bit harder, a bit harder, you get a fairly decent whack in there, so we're just going to do the technique, but watch what happens to the body, now when he strikes me in the head in a moment, it's not going to be a massive tap, because my brain sits in a lot of fluid, and as he whacks it, it's going to swim around and bounce. You all know how we get knocked out. So he's going to give me a nice gentle tap. I'm teaching Dan this technique. So he's going to step forward with his left leg slightly. He's got the cane up, crook up, so it's the reverse. His other hand is going to be in a guard position. So whatever it is I've done, I may have thrown a punch, it's blocked, I might have grabbed him. And he's aiming for the centre of my forehead. So it's going to be a gentle back. Yeah. Then this is going to drag down. It would drag down my face. He's then going to chuck onto there, strike down with the shaft onto the chest, draw it back and poke. So it's that same up, strike, drag, poke. So he's going to put a little bit of oomph in it now. So we're ready to altercate. I might have done something, said something. I've given him a tap. So as, oh, keep going. And he's very nicely kept control. That's a good habit to get into because I can't get away. If he's got my hand, he knows where I am. If I start to move, he knows where I'm going. You can go a little bit harder. Just, just for the sake of this, I want him to go, give it about a 5% tap. And then you can give it, give it a good poke on there as well. Okay, if you practice this, please wear some protection. Even if you've got a head guard on, don't go very hard, because that was very, very gentle, but it still gave a good reaction. We're well, going to do that again, but if you do practice this, no more than three taps to the head. As anybody who knows me, I'll do something and then I'll have an idea and go off at a tangent, which has just happened. So what I want Dan to do, same technique, but I want you to actually give me a double tap. Okay, so this will be the third time and then go through the technique and make it a nice flow and a little bit of oomph on the poke, okay? He was actually being very nice to me there. But that, just those two very small taps had a really big effect on me and I was actually disorientated, which gives him time to put the technique in. Back in my chair again, mini cane. Jabbing in position. My hand's in the guard. I'm going to come down. Again, I've got control of this arm. Give the hit. Drag down. Instead of coming through with the second strike, I've got a good chance of hitting my legs. Not good for me. So once I've hit and dragged there, I'm coming up, reloading, aiming for the sternum. If that flicks the head again, all well and good. If not, I'm not too worried. Although I've got control of the arm, because of my position and bringing him in close, I don't really want this. But that strike, followed by that strike, followed by the push away, now brings me into a cross guard. If he comes forward, he's fair game. We're going to go a little bit faster. So I'm going to just pop, pop. Okay? Thanks for watching guys, we hope you liked the video, as usual give us a thumbs up, write a comment down below, let us know what you think. Don't forget to share and care, because we care. 
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, don't forget to ring the bell, and don't forget, it's always important to free that thing.